Derek, first and foremost, back at Yankee Stadium. How are you doing? I'm back. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm busy. I'm chasing three girls around, but happy to be back. How much have you been enjoying that aspect of your life post-playing? It, it, you know what? It, it has been enjoyable. There's some other adjectives I could use, too. It's been challenging, to say the least, but I tell you what, there's no, nothing better. You know, when you look back, it's almost a year since you gave your speech in Cooperstown. You were inducted into the Hall of Fame. When you reflect back on it, what comes to mind? It was a surreal experience. I mean, you don't never know the emotions you're going to feel. Um, but standing on that stage with, with everyone that's helped you along the way in front of you, and then you have all the greatest players who've ever played the game behind you, um, it can be intimidating. And uh, it's definitely without question one of the most special moments I've had in my career. Now, what can I say in 15 minutes that can cover my entire career? You, know, you want to say something meaningful, impactful, and memorable. Finally, I just said, you know, stop overthinking it, man, and just write down how you feel. Fantastic speech. You were able to address the crowd. Everyone saw it on TV. But you never have been able to really address the fans here at Yankee Stadium. You're going to be able to do that tomorrow. What will your message be to them? Don't put pressure on me. I mean, look, I, I mean, I got to try to figure out, I guess, something else to say. But um, look, Yankee fans are the greatest fans in the world. I, I've been very vocal about that throughout my career, even post-career. And um, to get a chance to celebrate with them here at Yankee Stadium, I know because of COVID circumstances last year was a little toned down a little bit. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to I'm trying to educate my girls on what Yankee Stadium means. And, and I think my oldest has a little sense, but she's never seen this many people in one place before. So it'd be fun. You talk about those fans so often. You've called them the best multiple times. What is it about Yankees fans that makes them the best? They watch. They pay attention. Um, it means something to them. You know, every game means something. I remember in 98, we had basically won the division in April. And we had a little bad streak there at the end of the year. And I'm walking down the streets, and people are yelling at me, telling me we better turn it around. I mean, we won 125 games that year, but they pay attention and they have high expectations. I think that brings out the best in people. Something tells me when they're yelling for you tomorrow, it's all going to be positive. Do you miss hearing your name chanted by these fans? Of course. I mean, there's nothing you can do. I don't care how much success you have post playing career, there's nothing you can do where you have 50,000 people chanting your name. I really can't think of another job, another profession in the world. So, um, yeah, you miss it. Um, I still hear it sometimes when I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have a bad day and put on a little highlight reel and say, ah, oh, okay? Uh, no, I haven't gotten to that point. <laughs> I've been watching, you know, obviously during the documentary, um, watching a lot of highlights, but uh, I don't think my wife really wants to sit down and watch the highlights of me when I was that, playing. That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. In doing that documentary, just what type of trip down memory lane was that for you? And were there even moments that you maybe forgot a little there bit? There were a lot of moments that I forgot. You know, I tried to, before I sat down, I mean, it was 30 plus hours of me sitting down talking. And, and uh, before I would sit down, I'd say, hey, look, you got to try to refresh my memory on what we're talking about. And um, there are a lot of things that you, you, you tend to forget. Um, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So it was an opportunity for me to look back on my career and go through some, like I said, go down memory lane and, and just go back to some of the great things we were able to accomplish over a 20-year career.